everybody! Today, I am going to be showing off, showcasing, and reviewing some Overwatch minifigures. And I will start with the one on the far left. So here he is! Obviously, you will have noticed the second head in his hand, and we'll get to that in a sec. Stupid Genji fell over. Now I'm going to take you through the plastic quality, the custom molding in the case of the headpiece, and also all the printing on this guy, so let's go! So we can see he's got printed legs with even some printed feet, some nice silver on the feet there as well as some dark grey. Got prints going up to the leg, and of course the print continues into the hips. And the printing on the hips transitions very, very nicely onto the torso here. Got some more silver printing on the torso as well, some lime green little bits there. His back is also printed, although a little off to one side on this particular figure. And also the arms are printed with some little lime green circular details around here, a little bit of silver in that shoulder area, and some more of that maroon dark red brown color. And his other arm has an identical yet mirrored print. And now is for the head. It's got a little bit of a uh, molded in mask thing trailing down at the back. Got the frontal area printed with some lime green visor going on. The shaping overall is very nice and very accurate. Got those two little spikes at the top, which, uh, fair warning, are quite sharp actually. The Genji figure also included two swords and a neck bracket sheath piece to put them in. So let's put that on the Genji figure himself. And here he is with that piece on. It's got a little inaccurate shoulder armor thing. Now while this is quite inaccurate to how the character holds his two swords, I actually think it's quite cool. Not to mention, out of all pre-existing pieces that they could have copied, really I can't think of a better one for it than this. It does hold two swords, and it does hold one of them in quite an accurate position. Overall, I can look past the flaws, and I will say this is a really great figure. And also, you haven't seen the alternate head yet. So we can see he's got some silver printing up on the top part here, as well as around the mask area. And a couple of red eyes, some attack eyebrows in black, and I really like it. That's about all I have to say and show regarding this particular minifigure. So, let's move on to the next one. This character is essentially the mascot of Overwatch, Tracer. Or apparently Lena Oxton, I, I think that's her name, I think. The character's real name is Lena Oxton. As with Genji, I'm gonna show you all the printing, as well as tell you about the plastic quality and all the different molded pieces. Speaking of molded pieces, there's something I want to get out of the way first. She comes with a couple of very detailed and oddly realistic handguns. I think semi-automatic. Now this is strange because in the game, the character has some energy-based laser weapon type things, but no, here she has some little very realistic guns. I mean, Lego doesn't actually make guns as realistic as this. So I suppose this is a knockoff of something like a, like a brick arms design. Put the loot boxes in the bag, bitch. Seriously though, it looks like she's about to go for a full on hold up. Let's just take these away and have a look at the minifigures printing. As we can see on the front here, it's got the black soles of her white boots, three little black dots, as well as the little lapel on the front of the boot there. Some little grey straps going on, and on the right side we've got this extremely detailed design on the side of the hip and the leg. On the left side of the leg you've got the exact same printing, just mirrored. And get this, this minifigure has printing on the back of the leg. On the front body print we can see these black eaten out sections showing the curve of the torso there. Got the detail of the bomber jacket with a little bit of the zipper showing there. Got some more grey straps connecting to this little device printed on the front. Some white for the collar of the jacket. And honestly on the back it only gets better. On the right side we can see some little bit of a white armor type piece here, as well as just the same jacket printing, as well as a little Union Jack applique. And there is actually a different print on the left arm. And finally, for the printing, we'll take a look at the face. You can see she's got a big fat smile on her face, got these very accurate goggles with the orange lens there. Overall, I think the design for the face is very good, and I think it does look even better with the hair piece on. The feel of the plastic, I would say, is Really quite close to Lego itself. It's a little bit better than the Genji one. Next minifigure, which will be this dude. This character is called Reaper. Now, first off, he comes with a couple of these little space guns. Just gotta take these away so we can have a closer look at the figure. Okay, like with Genji and Tracer slash Lena Oxton, I will run you through all of the details, like the custom things, such as the cool-ass jacket on this one, the plastic quality, as well as the printing. So, let's go. First off, we can see with the leg printing here, got some little foot detail there with these boot-type armor pieces, as well as some minor and pretty vague details here with some dark gray and what looks like some kind of ring clip. Got a white belt buckle there, got some little ammo-type thing, got lots of clips and... Lots of detail, I gotta say, I do like the printing here. Moving up, we can see some white little strap clip type things at the side. Black and dark grey armor type design, as well as these red vial or ammo things strapped to his chest here. And just lifting his head up a bit there, so you can see the continuation right to the top of this armor type design. I really like it. 
finally is the head with this really cool white mask type thing. And I'm going to take the hood off so you can see everything that's going on here. Now the printing here is very well done. The white is very opaque. You've got these sort of holes along here. One for the mouth and then these sort of cheek holes kind of giving a gaunt effect got this pointy nose type thing coming down lots of detailed little line things just giving it a worn in kind of look i really like it now lastly as promised we will get into this killer trench coat going on it's kind of a shiny type of fabric which does look pretty good it's got that trench coat effect and it does blend in with the plastic quite well because of it being a little bit more of a shiny kind of material also forgot one thing plastic quality it's okay i mean it is passable, you know, I would use this in a brick film, and if Overwatch is popular in LEGO, then maybe I will use this in a brick film. It's about the same level as Genji, maybe a, a little shiny on the hood there. But overall, I think it is perfectly passable. Okay, next minifigure. And here is Queen Waifu! Not my waifu, but like, other people's waifu. As with the previous ones, I will show you all of the printing, tell you all about what it comes with, show everything off to you, and tell you about the plastic quality, see who originally made it, blah, 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 blah. Let's get started! Now, first of all, I would like to say this May figure comes with this totally badass gun. Now, I'm not sure if it's entirely accurate to the in-game freezy gun that uh, she has, but I think it's a really cool piece to get. You'll probably see me use this somehow in a brick film. Okay, I can stop saying how much I love the gun and get on to the rest of the... I'll show you the painting. We've got an Eskimo boot kind of deal going on at the bottom here. The uh, middle of the hips printing went... A little bit off to one side on this particular one, but that's just because they... I'm pretty sure they don't reject any that they make when they're making these in China, unsupervised. Anyway, you can see the design kind of spiking up here with the dark blue into these little cream peak type things with this stripe going across here. The torso goes up into these little nougat kind of pouch type thing, belt going across the waist. And uh, of course it goes up into this white color. Kind of black eaten out at the sides showing the, uh, the figure of the figure. And of course, I will take off the hood there, so you can see the top of the print. Got some light flesh color right there, and some dark brown kind of color coming in on the shoulder side bits. And of course, here is the back print with what appears to be a printed on folded down hood, I think. Got some sort of nougat type stripe design, which I believe is the belt coming around from the front. Got some little bits, some bright blue just over this continuation of the trouser pant leg color. I think this is really good. And I especially like the side arm printing right here. And it is actually different on the other side. Not this part. This part is the same from what I can tell. Now the face print has this cute little smile going up on one side. The brown glasses, which look pretty crisp. Well done. And also some blue eyes. Now this is a little strange to me. Since the character is Chinese and has brown eyes. I don't know why the eyes aren't just black with some white dots. But they're, they're blue with some little white bit at the top of the blue. And then black around the blue and the white with a little eyelash. I don't really understand. I like the blue eyes, but I don't know why they did it. And of course the character does come with this hood here, which is white at the front here, or fluffy and nice, and also has some blue printing on the back, sort of a sandy, darkish blue color. But if you, the person who bought this minifigure, do not like the hood, they included a hairpiece. And here it is. It's actually just a copy of LEGO's standard ponytail mold, but actually I think it is reasonably accurate and definitely the best choice. The best choice, not choice. The best choice using a pre-existing mold. Anyway, here are all the figures together, as you can see. And I gotta say, I've really, really fallen in love with these. Now, because I love these figures so very much, I want to know from you, would you want to see a LEGO stop motion with them and what kind of stop motion would you want to see them in? Them meeting the Star Wars characters? Some kind of battle video like a round of the game? Some kind of comedy thing? Comedy sketch type of short? Let me know if you would want to see that and how you would want to see it, your ideas, whatever. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to Nerdy Nom Nom. I post tons of awesome LEGO videos every single week. Okay, I post tons of awesome LEGO videos and there is at least one every single week. Anyway, I will say again, tell me in the comments your ideas for a stop motion with these characters, if you would want that, if you want me to buy more knockoff Overwatch minifigures, and which one out of these four you liked the most, which one you didn't like the most, disliked the most, and, you know, just rank them if you want to. Tell me tons of stuff in the comments. Roll the sub-advert!